Welcome to Rev coverage of high school football. I'm Ralph Sapier along with my co-host Perry Gidry. Tonight we're here at Central Lafouche High School where the Central Lafouche Trojans play host to the South Lafouche Tarpons. Uh, Perry, uh, another football season on the way. Two teams, uh, one is 0-2, uh, the other one's 1-1, one and, one, and uh, both teams struggling early in the season. Well, you got to throw away those records when these two get together because it's the big Bayou rivalry game between the South Lafouche Tarpons and the Central Lafouche Trojans. Uh, also on the uh, agenda tonight will be uh, the field dedicated to long-time, very successful head coach uh, for the uh, Central Lafouche Trojans, Bob Gro. Uh And following that, we got homecoming. Wow. So we got our, our plates full tonight. Yes, indeed. About both games, uh, both teams, what they've what they done so far, the Trojans... Uh Lost to, uh, to to state champions 28 times. <laughs> John Curtis in week one, 51 to nothing. And last Friday, they lost to Vanderbilt Catholic 41 to seven. I kind of uh, heard some of the, the game uh, last week. And um, the Trojans just turned the ball over too many times. You can't turn the ball over against a good team. And they'll, uh, they just took it down the field and, 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 and did the number. For the Tarpons, the Tarpons are... Or on week one, they had a 25-14 to 14 win over St. Edmund High School. And last Friday, they, they, this was been a close game. It's 31-21 loss to Thibodeau. They very, I mean, they, they, they were close. That game was close until the end. It was just who's going who's gonna to finish in the fourth quarter. And, and um, the, the Tarpons came out a little, a little uh, on the short side. But we'll, we'll see tonight exactly how, what both of these team, two teams really have. Okay, well, I, uh, I, you know, I watched the South Lafouche Thibodeau game, and I, I, in my opinion, South Lafouche outplayed Thibodeau. Uh, 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 mistakes again uh, made by a young team, turnovers, uh, cost the uh, uh, Tarpons in the fourth quarter. But up until then, they were right with Thibodeau. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to see the uh, Central Lafouche Vanderbilt game. But hey, we scored a touchdown, so that's a good thing. Right. Uh, as, as far as uh, as far as the the Trojans are concerned, they only have they only have eight seniors on the team, so they have got to be young. I was told that that their their quarterback is a is a sophomore. I may be wrong with that, but I was told that that quarterback is a sophomore. Uh, that'd be very unusual to see a sophomore running up a six six eight school at quarterback, you know. But anyway, Sal Lafusha. South Lafouche is probably a young team. They don't look that big, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see how who's going to win the offensive and defensive line because that's where, that's where the game is won. That's right. Well, uh, South Lafouche did an excellent job against Thibodeau's uh, line, and, and I think they control both the offense and defense in the trenches. Uh, uh, Thibodeau had, a, uh, had some good uh, 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 running backs and wide receivers, which they normally do, that, that are fast and hard to tackle. Uh of course, South Lafouche never quit, and they quick and hit hard. And uh, like I said, I think they won the battle in the trenches, uh, and it's going to be it's going to be an interesting deal because Central also it has a pretty big front line. I'm curious to see, and that's going that's going to answer the question of who's going to win the ball P game. Perry, I, I don't know, uh, uh, you know, the, how many times. Uh, Central has played South, or or, or even at South Lafouche, when South and that they played South. But I, I don't know when the last time that that they played for homecoming. I, I no, can't, well, I, I we can't never had that. a homecoming uh, game this early in the season. This is their first home uh, home game. I always remember it being sometime around October. Yeah. Uh, never well, this early. Yeah. And then today there was uh, all kinds of activities at school. Uh, a TV station from New Orleans came here and uh, really did uh, 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 put, 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 put a pretty good program with, with both uh, South and Central participating in. And so uh, we expect a big crowd. And, and a absolutely. All right, we're gonna take a break. Uh, we we'll take a break and we're we'll gonna come back with a dedication of the of the, the field to Bob Grove right here on Rev Network. Uh, at the 25 yard line, you see uh, the uh, people congregating. Those are the uh, players from uh, that played for Coach uh, Bob Grove in his uh, tenure here 
at Central Lafourche. Among that group is uh, Tommy Hudson, who went on to LSU, played professional football, and has a couple of other professionals too that also played for. But anyway, uh, Coach Bob Grohl was born in 1938. He died in 2020. Tonight we celebrate the memory of the late Coach Bob, Robert Bob Grohl. Coach Grohl was born in 1938. He was a 1956 graduate of Thibodeau High School and received an athletic scholarship from Southeastern University where he was a three-year letterman on the football team and a four-year letterman on the track team. During his 15-year coaching and teaching career here at Central Lafourche, Coach Grohl compiled a record of 116, 55, and 1. That includes two undefeated seasons and making the playoffs in 11 of 15 years with trips to the quarter and semifinals in the state playoffs. Coach Grohl was a five-time district coach of the year, a four-time Daily Comet Homa Korea Coach of the Year, a two-time WWL Coach of the Year, Louisiana High School Athletic Director of the Year, and was inducted into Louisiana High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame in 1996. Throughout his years of service, Coach Grove served in several leadership roles, including being named second vice president, first vice president, president, and a member of the executive council of the Louisiana High School Coaches Association. Coach Grohl had four players go on to play at the professional level and numerous players play at the collegiate level. He has had a tremendous impact on the school, community, as well as his former athletes, and it is truly deserving of the prestigious honor of having the Central Lafourche High School football field named in his honor. Coach Grohl passed away in 2020. Coach Grohl had four players go on to play at the professional level and numerous players play at the collegiate level. He has had a tremendous impact on our school, community, as well as his former athletes and is truly deserving of the prestigious honor of having the Central Lafourche High School football field named in his honor. Coach Grohl passed in 2020. We are joined tonight by the family of Coach Grohl and a number of his athletes who played for him over the years. We welcome you all back. And we hope you enjoy your time tonight. On the east side of the stadium, the uh, homecoming court for 2023 Central Lafourche Trojan High School. Coverage in that road, white or gray, I guess, is it gray, Perry? White? Uh, white and blue. blue. White and blue, okay. And the Trojans are going to be in their uh, yellow yellow pants with the, gold pants with the green uh, green jerseys, home colored. Uh, we had a little shower this afternoon. They might have a little water on the field, but I think by this time, that a lot of that is uh, probably all gone. Here come the it isn't going as the Central Blue Trojans. Here come the Trojans. There we go. And here come the players. Nice, and the horse is still running. Yes, indeed. 
with all this noise and everything, he probably will too. Oh. Probably not gonna be off when he stop him, you know. <laughs> yes, indeed, a big tradition here at Central Fush with the Trojan horse and uh, and a big Trojan, crowd on the Trojan other mascot. side. Trojan mascot, yeah. It's on both sides. This side's full. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the home side's full. No doubt about it. it being homecoming, but you can expect quarters, that. But on the other side, you fish pretty much. Other than the, the four, uh, four right west side, yeah, it's it's um it's it's pretty pretty packed that too. Good crowd. Now we got something else going on here. Salafush always travels well. They they they, they all support the, their their the team on the road. So uh, now this is presentation. This is going to be an American flag. Yes. Which was donated by Woodman of the World Insurance. Insurance. Yeah. Yeah. And not only. Or they uh, did they donate the flag that will be used for the anthem. They uh, are donating $1,000 to each school, South and Central Lafouche. Very, very nice Very gesture. nice gesture, yeah. yeah. On the part of uh, women of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you stand. We are joined tonight by members of the Central Foods Chapter of Catholic Athletes for Christ. Sophia Hodson, a member of the group, will offer a moment of reflection. Great job by Sophia Hudson with the prayer and the Trojan Lancer Band with the National Anthem. That was a, that was a nice uh, ceremony, Perry. Something different. Please contact Mr. Rick Price 
at 985-991-3075 for details. Once again, that's Mr. Rick Price, 985-991-3075. Thanks again to One Man Life. All right, Perry, you got uh, the captains uh, in the middle of the field getting ready to have a... All right, Captain Fasal Lafouche, 39, Colby Bruce. Uh, number two is Caden Jarvis, and number 10 is Carson Ogeron. For the Trojans, number seven, that's uh, Ryan Nakan. Number 51 is, um, is uh, Shane Wilson, and number 23 is uh, Porter Zarain. And uh, the interesting thing is uh, number 10 for Sal Lafouche, Carson Ozeron was the Trojans quarterback just two years ago. The Trojans going to kick off to the to uh, the Tarpons. Uh, they're going to defend the goal to our, to our left and the Tarpons will receive from our right. It's a real nice Beautiful night. Night tonight, uh, like I said earlier, we, we had a little rain around 3 o'clock this afternoon. It just missed this area. I do know they had some, I walked, I walked in the field, and I know they had some some, uh, some, wet, some wet spots on the field, but what they had is so minute. Right. Not near as much as it, as, it, as, it, as it did down in the Lockport area. Just enough to cool off things. But it is, like you said, it is a beautiful <laughs> night. It's, uh, it's, it's cloudy. I got a breeze blowing, and... Uh, I'm glad we have the air condition in the press box. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you what makes this a, a big rivalry and an important rivalry is half of these kids on both of these teams are related to each other. Yeah, they, yeah. They know one another. Yes, they know one another and have known them since kids. And uh, they, they've played middle school ball together. Uh, but a lot of them have uh, kin folks. Uh, in the south and in the central part of the yeah, parish. Well, so. I know. I noticed we have some South Lafouche fans uh, in, on the central side. So he's, what yes. you're saying is exactly right there. Uh, well, how about me? My <laughs> grandson played for South Lafouche. Yeah. <laughs> now, I stopped calling the central games while he was doing that. But uh, uh, I was I was joked uh, and teased by uh, a truck just clear. <laughs> he said, you're a double knot spot. All right. And there's the kickoff. Ball going. It's oh, mishandled. Picked up at the number 11. Gets at the, on. At the eight yard line. So that's where the Trojans, that's where the Tarpons be playing first and 10 at the eight. That's Landon Jarvis. He just bobbled the ball and just couldn't, really just couldn't get a hole into it and ended up just jumping on it. Uh, I think he misjudged it. It took a bad bounce. That's yeah. uh, that Astro turf or artificial turf. It's, it's hard to anticipate where the ball's going to go. You saw the NFL uh, trying to mandate to uh, go back to grass in all the be, fields. And, it yeah. would be nice. It would limit the injur injuries. Yeah. Now, in our area, it's good because of the low water tables. All right, let's see. Number 10 in the shotgun. Two wide receivers to the left side and two to the right. One man in the wing. He drops back. Looks downfield. Deflected. Oh. Pass well, was deflected. I tell you what, he was really, uh, he was really pressured by number 47. Yep. Uh, Taylor Bobolan. I think the pass was intended yeah, yeah. for number. Well, 13. it might have been, might have been deflected uh, with the hit. Yes, Camden Berg, I think, was the guy he was trying to go to, but the pressure. All Se right. Shake it down. Now he is. Up, oh, he's. No, he's back in the one back in the backfield in the shotgun. That's number three in motion. He takes the snap, throws it, quick pass out to the right side. He's got a little room and picks up about six or seven. That is yeah, he got it to the number three. To that's the sixteen. Terrence Petrie. It's a second, uh, third down and four. Third and four. Two wide receivers, one uncovered. Petrie is uncovered. Nobody on him. Let's see if Carson can notice it. Look, look. Good job. 
Petrie with the ball at the 20 and plenty enough. That was a good down. read. Nobody picked him up and he just threw it right, right away there for the first down. Let's see how many yards was that. They went from the 14 to the to the 22. So that's uh, seven. seven yards. Well, nobody was covering him. That was a breakdown in coverage. Same thing on the, this side again. Petrie with Somebody kind of shadowing him. Oh, draw play. That's Carson. He's got the he's got the middle. He's gonna score. He will not be caught. That's yeah. uh 78 yard touchdown run. Carson Ogeron right up the gut. Quarterback draw. And that was one of the things I put in my little preliminary report was that uh, Carson Orgeron can hurt you not only in the air but on, with his legs. All right, kicking for the Torpens, number 17. That's Cesar Gonzalez. And it looks good. Kick is good. Torpens. Go up 7 nothing with 11 minutes remaining in the first quarter. That was a, that was an 80, uh, 82 it, it, yard drive. 90, 92. 92 yard drive. From the eight. 90. Is uh, number 14 and number 18. Uh, 14 is uh, Marvin Maladono. Maladono. And what's the other one? Number 18. 18. Demaris Day. And the kick, of course, is Gonzalez. Seven zero lead there. Tarpons <laughs> up. And here's the kickoff. Nice long kick taken at the 15. Oh, it didn't go too far. About the 25, 26. That number 18, that was uh, Tariq Cooper. But he, that, that kick was covered very well by the Tarpons. All right, let's see what the Trojans can do on offense here. And it looks like number three, Jeremy Cleveland, will be their quarterback. Cleveland uh, quarterback and uh, Day, Robert Day, number 11, is at the tailback. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Three, four uh, defense by the uh, Tarpons. Handoff, delayed, cutback. Good job. Oh, Good nice ball. block. No. Oh. Number 11. Robert D yeah. on the carry. Yeah, he got a personal foul. Man. Well, I, I thought he had his head around it. Yeah. But yeah. maybe it's hidden with the crown. Fans will not be happy about that. No. Bring it back to the 12 and a half. Salafouche had no runs on that series. That was Central's first run, but it's nullified, so it don't count. All right, Trojans will play a first and 10 yard 20 penalty. from their 15. Snap back again today. Give it back today. Oh, short. They yeah, may have got a yard that time. Good tackle by uh, Sal Lafouche. By Otan. All right, Trojans in the shotgun this time, huh? Yeah, they did. Probably going to stay in the shotgun. Cleveland is the quarterback. Got uh, three men guns. rushed by the Torpens. Four linebackers. Well, it's just where they show him, but are you going to have more than that? No, no. 
Whoa, quarterback keeper on the left side, but yeah, you got to take the, 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 the 20. About three yards, huh? It'll be uh, third and 15. Not enough to... Uh, Third and 15. Long way to go. Yeah. Penalty really set the Trojans back. Two wide receivers to the right. Tarpons aren't adjusting their defense. Went to the left, have man in the slot. With D in the backfield. Looks bad. Even drops back. Long pass. Oh. 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 Man, ball was there, just couldn't quite get to it. Jordan Mason. Trojans are going to punt. Doing the punt for the Trojans is uh, uh, is number 17. Num number 13, it looks huh? like. 13? No, number 17. There yeah. is no 13. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden Dishman. That's Petrie back, Terrence Petrie. Oh, he went. He shouldn't have made a fair catch on. Good this bounce. Comes down All the way down to the 50-yard uh, line. Yeah, to the Trojan 49. Torpens will be on the on the good side for them. That was not a very productive series with that big penalty. All right, what's going on over here now? Okay. 9.05 left in the first period. Oh, look, look, look. Look at this. Quarter, Carson keeping it. He's going he's to score a touchdown again. 49 <laughs> that was, yards. That was, a, that was a, a weird player. Well, no, that was a bad defense for yeah, not adjusting. Yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta go. You gotta go guard the guy, man. Carson Ogeron making the Trojans wish he'd have never left. Look, they had two defenders guarding uh, eleven people over there, ten people, and nobody moved. Gonzalez converts on the second one. A little adjustment there, boys. 14 zip, 855. It ain't taking the Torpens long to score around. You're undecided about your future? Speak to a representative of the Louisiana National Guard for some sound advice. That's the Louisiana National Guard. I bet you I can tell you what they're going to say. <laughs> National Guard. All right. Uh, 14 and... What's that? I didn't see it. Gonzalez in to kick off once again. All right. Gonzalez kicking off to Maldondo and Cooper. 18 is Cooper and 14 is Maldondo. And it looks like it's going to Maldondo. Oh, bounces up. Good. Luckily for the Trojans. Yeah. It they went, went out of bounds. Out of bounds yeah. at the 25. Yeah. 25. But let me tell you, if he'd have been in the middle of the field, that would have been bad news. First and 10 for the Trojans on the, their own 25-yard line. That would have been the game's first uh, turnover, huh? All right. Jeremy Cleveland still in at quarterback. Three-man rush showing for the Torpens. 
And dropping back an option play. Quarterback keeper gains about, about seven. Yep, seven yards uh, by Cleveland. Jeremy Cleveland with the carry. Shot by number seven, Max. play in second down and three. Yeah, oh, somebody. 30 left in the first quarter. That was a good run. That's the Salafush band playing the, case, the uh, Trojan song. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. Maybe uh, lost, lost, lost the yard. yard. What was that? Uh, number to, uh, 20, 21. 21 for the 21. Tro Drew Washington. Drew Washington. Washington. Washington, uh, sophomore, my God. He lost a yard, huh? Yeah. All right, third down and five, four, a very makeable first down. A little short pass in the middle. That's a uh, motion. motion. Quarterback keeping it. Oh, look at that tough defense yeah. by yeah. the Tarpon. He lost two more yards. He just shot the gap. You know, he's yeah. not passing. Jarvis After getting seven yards on the, on the first the first play, they lost three yards next two plays. It'll be fourth and, uh, fourth and six. All right. Back is uh, Petrie, Terrence Petrie, number three for the Tarpons. Nice hard kick. Takes a oh flag. 46 yard line of the Tro Tarpons. Let's see what the flag's all about. Well, my initial uh, projection or prediction was that it was going to be a close game, but uh, I felt like Saul Lafouche. Had a little, a little too much for Central. Oh, against the Tarpons. That's it. Bring the ball to the, the 30. Spotted a foul? Six yard line. Oh, okay. Yeah, spotted a foul. At the 36, huh? Yeah. Carson in the shotgun. Two wide receivers to the right side, two to the left, tight end. On both sides, he drops back. Pumps, looks downfield, wide open. Good pass. And about an 18 yard gain. First down in Trojan territory. By number 14 for the Tarpons. Colt de Cure. Yes, it's completed to Colt de Cure. He was stopped by Brian Johnson. First and 10, Carpens. At the 46 yard line. Two wide receivers to the bottom. He's looking downfield. Oh, he gets stopped there. Loss of uh, three. First negative play for the uh, Tarpons tonight. Oh, flag. Or did he, is that a? What was that? Bever there? Beverage timeout. Oh, okay. So, all right. So it is a loss of three. A loss of two. Well, call me alive for 12 inches, huh? Nice, two, two yards. <laughs> First negative play for the Tarpons tonight. Looks like they're coming out with the intent to throw. But the lanes are so open, Orgeron's taking off.
Parkins will play second down and 12. Trojans have a three-man front on defense. Man in motion, back, throws it out in the flat. Good, well, good catch. That is number two, Caden Jarvis. 35. Pickup of uh, eight. All right, one man in the back. Oh, he's he's barking out the play. He's in the shotgun. Jarvis to his left. Three wide receivers to the right. He rolls to the right. He's going to run. The Trojans don't stop him. He makes it by a yard. So that's uh, that's about a six-yard game. Huh? Get the ball at the 34-yard line. Trojan defense needs to uh, toughen up. Yeah, I see they got four people look like they're gonna get down on the front line. Maybe that's a, an attempt to stop the run. Three wide receivers to the bottom. Rolls to his left. Running play all the way, nine yards. Carson Ogeron. Of course, he needs to uh, be a little careful there. Twenty-one. Lad Landon Meathead Dardar in the backfield. <laughs> to the right side of the quarterback, that's Petrie in motion. Gives it to Dardar, and he goes nowhere. Maybe lost a little bit. Yep, lost about a yard, I would say. Top of the goal. Allen Bloom allowed to stop for the Trojans. He loses a yard on the play. That'll make it third and about two. Allen, that's 26. Third down. Third and two. Oh, then that eye formation. Dordor gets the handoff. Oh, a good run. That's what they were doing to Thibodeau. They were beating Thibodeau up with that play. So that's, uh, that's about... Six yards on that carry for Dardor. When they got in that that eye, that eye with the fullback in the in the backfield, Thibodeau couldn't stop him. That big offensive line, pitch to the right side. Dardor looking for. Oh, he's got it. Look like he's going to score right up the gut, but a flag. There is a flag on the play. Let's see what the story here. Oh, uh. Illegal participation, I believe. Uh, the player took his helmet off. So, of his so it nullifies that 21-yard yeah. touchdown run yeah. by Meathead. <laughs> Meathead Dardor. And they tell me that's what he wants to be called. So that was a heck of a run there, Mr. Dardor. It's a pity. Isn't that somebody downfield illegally? Wasn't the pass, it couldn't be that. Done Substitution. Yeah, the 15 yard the penalty. Push. Gotta put the ball back. Ooh, way back. At the 20. The 36. And it is first and a long 
ways. 25 yards. First and 25. On 21, I'm sorry. Oh no. 25. It's 25, the scoreboard. Yeah, there we go. All right, Carson backs up in the middle, wide open. Good catch and good run. That's number 13, and did they call him in? Oh, they called at the one. Camden Bird, beautiful pass. Yep, the ball was right, the ball was right there. 36, so that's a 35 yard pass. Hit him in stride, too. Oh, yeah. He's five of six and about 80 yards. He's going to be a little short. Yeah. Who, who carried the ball? Quarterback. Quarterback sneak. Mm -hmm. You got it that time. Yeah. This time he's in. Another touchdown for the top one. Ooh. On a beautiful night in September. Tarpons are unstoppable. That's his third touchdown. Would have had a touchdown pass if it were not for that excellent tackle by the Trojans. Gonzalez nails that one. Chasson Eye Care Center offers a complete range of eye care services. With offices in Raceland and Thibodeau, they can address all of your eyes health concerns. That's Chasson Eye Care Center. Marvin Maldonado, along with Tyreek Cooper, deep for Central Fish. All right, let's see. 18 and 14. Uh, yeah, 18 and 14 for the Trojans Gonzalez back. To kick off for the Tarpons. Marvin Del Dondo, six foot, 140 pound, 11th grader. And number 18, Tariq Cooper, 5'10, 140, 10th grader. Some young kids on this Central LaFouche team. Let's see what Gonzalez does. Nice kick. Taken, oh, the good move, good move. That's Cooper on the return. He's the 35 yard line. 35. Tar Tariq Cooper. Big Ross of the Tarpons. The Trojans are playing first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. Tar Trojans need to get something started here. Shotgun, two back, set. Protect Cleveland. Looks downfield. Oh, a little short. Pass attempted for number 14. 
That's Maldondo. Maldondo. Way short. That's his third attempt. No completions yet tonight. All right, second and 10. Cleveland, Cleveland dropped back nice and stayed upright. Doing it again. Little pressure, deflection ball nearly, nearly picked out of the air. Third down. But a running game is not working, so maybe if they spread out the formation and throw the ball around a little bit, a little open the run. Open up the run, perhaps. But Saul Lafouche is a quick, hard hitting defense. I'd say your chances of beating them are better in the air. All right, dropping back. In the middle, attempted for 23. That Zerang, Porter, Zerang. Porter, huh? It was a little behind him. Looked like it may have touched his hands. But tough, tough catch to make in traffic. Number 17, that's uh, Ard Aiden, Aiden Dishman. Number three. Terrence Pierce back there. Chubby T was his nickname. Oh, nice kick. Nice punt. Should get a good, oh, stops right there. And then goes backwards. 38 yard line of Salt La Fouche. 38 yard line. 38. I'd love to see the Trojans toughen up right here and stop it. Minute 36 left in the first quarter. Can you believe that? All right. Tro Trojans still don't have a first down, Perry. No, <laughs> that's right. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. Man in motion, that's Dardo. He goes back to the left. Good play. Oh, good tackle. That pass was to number 14 for the Tarpons. The cure, but that's a loss of one, huh? Oh no, a gain of one. Gain one. Same set. That was some good. Uh, Dordar went in motion. A lot of a lot of motion by the Torpens. Handoff. Dordar, twisting and turning, but doesn't even get back. Fumble the ball. Yeah, Trojans recovered. Oh, first. Yeah. First turnover. Number 33. Uh, McNabb. Big defensive stand yeah. by the Trojans. Just what the doctor ordered. Please reelect Lafouche Parish Sheriff Mike Weber. Sheriff Weber wishes good luck to Central Lafouche and advises everyone to be safe on and off the field. All right, let's see what Cleveland's going to do here. Looks downfield. Oh, under pressure, yeah, big they, rush. They brought the house down that time. <laughs> That's a One, seven two, yard three, loss. Four, five, five, uh, Right by Kate Five people coming. Yeah. Seven yard sack, huh? And lost, uh, lost six. All right. Yeah, if I was if I was uh, calling plays, I, I think I'd stick with the uh, maybe a screen pass here and there with that rush, but look. The Torpids are controlling the line of scrimmage, obviously. Oh, here we go. 
Cleveland. Not getting very far, maybe a yo. 39. 39. 39. Bruce. Kobe Bruce. The 39. At the end of the first quarter. Gain of one on that play. Huh? In the first quarter, the Tarpons 21, Trojans 0. This baby will get your heart racing as much as your slick new devices do. Switch to Rev. No contracts, no data caps, no nonsense. It's the high-speed internet you need. Build your plan at letsrev.com. Let's Rev. Internet speed so fast, you're going to need seatbelts for your sofa. Switch to Rev. No contracts, no data caps, no nonsense. It's the high-speed internet you need. Build your plan at letsrev.com. Let's Rev. Man in the backfield. Cleveland takes the snap, looks down, come back to his other side. Whoa. Whoa, we got a flag. Pass attempted. Jordan Mason. Pass was attempted for number 10, Jordan Mason. And that's an automatic first, huh? First, first down for the Tor Trojans. Was it? I'm trying to find. Uh, shit. What? You don't, it, it, I was trying to find where they're streaming at. Well, if it was pass interference, shouldn't it be an automatic first? No. Maybe I don't know my rules. No. All right. Third and two. It ain't a first down. Take that back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that didn't go. Oh, he's just fighting for yardage. Lost a yard. Cleveland's having a rough time in the running that ball in the middle. I still think a little middle screen would work, maybe. But you got to open up the field, put, put your wide receivers out. Fourth down and uh, three on. At the 32. Good. Oh, right through Connor Richard's hands. Almost had his first completion of the night. That was a good pass. By Mr. Cleveland. Chesson Eye Care Center has state of the art free testing areas and fully equipped. 11 15 left in the first half. Tarpons hold on needs. to a 21 0 lead here at in Matthews, Louisiana at Central Lafouche Stadium. Bob Grove Field dedicated tonight. And uh, Torpens come out with a three wide receiver set, two to the top, one in the bottom. Orgeron's got a man in motion. Whoa, over his head. Break for the Trojans. All the way back to the 13, to the 14, to the 15. 16 yard loss on that play. Well, that didn't help his running stats, which were marvelous so far. Second down in a mile. In motion, Petrie. Stops in the slot. Drops back, quick pass to the left side, and he's got a man. And he picks up about seven yards. Number 14, Code de Cure. Seven-yard seven gain. And I said in my little preliminary uh, report here that uh, Carson Ogeron 
Passing was precision. Three wide receivers to the bottom of the field, one to the top. Drops back, looking downfield, rolls to his right. Ogeron a little trouble. Oh, Petrie makes a excellent catch. One yard past the first down. Enough for first down, yeah. I do believe. Yeah, first down. How long was that? About 20 yards. Short. Ain't short by much, I guarantee you. They're going to measure it, huh? Boy, what a play. Orgeron bought some time rolling and uh, Terrence Petrie. Ooh, that's center. close. That is the close. They're going to the measure. That's, that's the ball went out, the play went out of bounds right here. They picked the ball up <laughs> in right. the field and they now they go mark it. Well we we don't have to work because truck just clairs is on the field making sure that chain gang's doing the right job. Yeah. It's gonna be a first watch. Oh no. Oh, I'm telling you. It's one link. But that was a 20 plus yard completion. I put it down for 20, but I think it was a little more than 20. More like 25. All right, it's fourth and short. Ogeron in the eye. Up, oh, time out. Time out, Salah Lafouche with 9.41 left in the Did first half. A beautiful pass from Ogeron to Petrie to pick up all but two inches of the first down, which we'd have thought it was. Uh, yeah, it was close, I tell you. Oh, yeah. And it was a long, a, a big yeah, distance. I thought he had first down myself. Uh, yeah, I think it was 20 yards. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but around 20 yards. And he bought some time with his legs again. He's eight for nine. Ninety nine yards passing in the first half so far. Eight of nine, 99 yards passing, unofficially. That's uh, based on the accounting firm of Guidry and Sapier. Oh, he's got it. First down. I think that was a keeper. Yeah, we knew what he was yeah. gonna do, that no doubt about that. Boy, the Trojans had them where they wanted them. All right, they had the 42-yard line. First and 10, 9, 20 and running. Three wide receivers to the left side. One to the bottom of the screen. Orgeron in the shotgun with the back to his left. Hands the ball off to Dordor. He gains about, about four, three and a half yards, four yards maybe. Victor Ellison on the stop for Central Refuge. We'll get him. Pick up at about four. Two and a half, three. Second down. Let's give him three on that one there. Rose to his left, looking downfield. Oh, nearly picked off. 
And we got a man shaking up there, number 22 for the Trojans, it looks like. Ryan only, Griffin. Only a second incompletion of the night. Good defense by number 22 for the Trojans. Brian Griffin, I think that pass was in. Okay, two wide receivers to the left, a man on the left wing. One man to the bottom, he looks downfield, throws it deep, oh, wide open. Terrence Petrie. 38. 35 yard. 38 to the uh, 20. He's down at the 20-yard line. 32-yard completion. I mean, he was wide open. Yep. Right in the middle of the field. Got to play better defense than that there, Trojans. Not in that eye. Door door in the Tail in, got it, luck straight up the middle. That's a gain of a seven. Thibodeau had a tough, tough time stopping it. Seven twenty seven and counting in the first half. Same. Same formation. Ogeron in the shotgun. Drops. Yeah, uh, we got a flag. Got, got to be against the offense, yes. Reminder that Smoothie King is here down below in the concession area selling smoothies for $6. And again, lots of good light on there, $5 a bowl. Please visit the concession stand for those goodies. Stop the push. Penalized for being offside. Five yards. Second down and eight. All right, they had the 18. Orgeron back. Quick pass out to the flat. 13. Uh, Bird. Camden. Tied in. Camden Bird. Camden Bird. He was brought down by Colin Chompine. We've got a Tro Trojan on the field. Cramp. As a shake one, come off the cramps. How many yards did he get on that? About? Uh, he had uh, one, two, three, four, four. four. It, it was a. Uh, it was second and eight, eight, and yeah. he got to the. Yeah. At four. It's going to be third and four. Very close to 100 yards passing. And mm -hmm. an over 100 yard rushing night for Carson Ogeron. And we still got 650 left in the first period. First half, I'm sorry. That big offensive line for the South Lafourche Tarpons. Ate up that rushing yardage against Thibodeau. But when they got to the fourth quarter, Thibodeau had adjust, made adjustments and stopped it. And they keyed on Orgeron and back in our formation. Pitch. To the left side, number two has a little running run, maybe not enough uh, first down. Caden it's Caden Jarvis. Picks, picks up about uh, two. Two, huh? Yeah. Fourth and two. Yeah, go play two. Fourth down. We go back in that eye. Yep, that's where they at. That's Dardar back in there, media. Oh, put him offside. 
Mental mistake, do all the work to stop him and give it to him. Back in the hour. Up, Tom out. Dehydration timeout. Okay. Well. Chasson Eye Care Center with locations in Raceland and Thibodeau are ready to help you with any eye problems you may have. Be it vision, you think glasses, you could take a break. Lenses, Be right Chasson back. Eye Care Center can help you can give you all the help you need. Back here and uh, Tarpons at the seven yard line, first, first down first. and goal. 6.02 left. Tarpon's trying to put this game out of reach. Oh, good defense by the Trojan middle of the line. Jarvis carries. That was, uh, that was uh, number 21. That was Meathead. Uh, he lost two. Dardo. Loss of two. Loss of three on the play. Well, correction, three. All right, back in our formation. Quick pass. Oh, hits the hands. And off of number 14, Colt DeCure. One of the few incompletions tonight for Ogeron. He's been on Should the mark be fourth most of the down, game. Huh? Third down. They're back in that shotgun. <laughs> Spreading the field out. Orgeron takes the snap up the middle. Dordor goes, fights for additional yardage, but maybe two yards that he lost. <laughs> Let's see what the Torpens are going to do here. They got to kick it, it looks like there. That's number 17, Gonzalez. Being held by Terrence Petrie. Good snap. Oh, Lock. good good job. Run with the ball. Go, boy. Oh, good job. Kick block. Recovered by number 15 for the Trojans. That's Miguel Johnson. Good return. Yep, 42 yard line. Big turnaround, big switch from inside the 10 to their own 42. Let's go snap it, girls. <laughs> if they ain't ready, oh, look at this. Uh, you see, that's, the defense wasn't ready. Why don't y'all wake up? Time out, there you go. Time out. If you're looking for a way to get an education, well, you, you got to take advantage of those situations. Teams don't do that very often. It's like us not guarding their wide receivers. Yeah. But you got to be ready. You can't be a. Uh, you be sitting on your heels. Can't be sitting down uh, discussing strategy when the strategy is right there in front of you. Chiropractic care with a modern twist. Visit Dr. Lance by or Dr. All right, Cleveland and Day, Robert Day in the backfield. He rolls to the right. Good pass, number 17 on that catch, nine yards. That's Aiden Dishman, his first completion of the night. Aiden Dishman on the reception. 
First down. And nine Good for yards. 10. Oh, they gave him 10? Yep. First down. All right. Good round number. That reception. Good for A. Ready for it. Buffalo's <laughs> driving. First down. First one tonight. Yeah. The old fashioned way, anyway. Hand up ball up the middle today. He's got about five yards on that. Need a four. To the 44. Second and uh, second and six. Pick up about four. Look, look. 423, plenty of time left here for the Trojans. Three wide receivers, not a draw play. Oh, good run, he's got a first down. Six yards. 412 left in the first half. Second first down. First down. Got, a, got the momentum going now. Let's not slow it up too much. <laughs> Cleveland looking down. Pressure's on. Let's see if he can get rid of it. No, he's sacked. Big loss. Had the house again coming down. Eight. Had the house. 11, 12 yard loss on that play. What about the 48 yard line? Well, he should have tried to throw that over the head. They had the 48 now. And a second down. So you get in 20, 21. They got some cards or something they're showing them down there. Three wide receivers to the bottom, one to the top. Cleveland, flag down. Ball start. Oh, good. He caught it. Frustration sets in. Another mental, inexperienced mistake. Uh, yeah, it's, you're playing with uh, freshmen and and, yeah, and, yeah. and and the juniors. And you got eight seniors on them. And I, I think one one of them is start, is, is in the game. Woo. It was second and twenty six. It's going to be second and thirty. At the 45, 6, 7. Second and 26. Oh, whoa. I don't know if it was caught. Intercepted. Yeah, it looked like it was picked. Intercepted. Yep. Ball, the ball is deflecting. It fell, that fell right in his hands when he's on, on the ground. Well, the... Uh, That's the first Trojan turned it over. It was a jump ball, and they lost. In fact, yeah. they probably won the jump, but the ball <laughs> came back down right in the hands of a torpid. So, uh, another turnover. The ball at the 35 of the torpins. Two thirty-four. Let's see what the South Lafourche Tarpons do here. Two wide receivers to the top, one to the bottom, and Ogeron looks downfield, throws it deep, wide open. Oh, he misses it. That was wide open. Number fourteen. Coat no, the cure. No coverage, man. No coverage that, at all. In the middle of the field of, of all places. 
I hope they make a couple of uh, adjustments at halftime there. That ain't the first time. That's the first pass he misses in the middle. And he didn't miss by much. He underthrew it. Three to the right. Drops back. Looks downfield. A little pressure. Rolls to his right. Look at that. Look at that pass. Uh -uh, out of bounds. Good. Smart move on the... Smart move on the part of the defensive back not hitting him and causing any problem. Any potential penalty. Third down and ten. One wide receiver to the top of the field, two to the bottom. One man on the wing. Drops back, looks to, quick pass, nope, rolls. Pressure, good job by the Dorpin Trojans. 12 yard loss. 12 yard sack. By the Trojan defense. Tarpon's first punt of the game. First punt of the game. Play and Let's see, number 10 for the Trojans the going back. That's Martin Jordan Martin. Mason. Nick that is sophomore. Hey, Mason, grab that ball and run for daylight, baby. Short kick. Good Tarpon bounce. Good tarpon roll. All the way down to the 33-yard line of the Trojans. Excellent punt by... Let's see, a minute 25. Three wide receivers to the top of the field, one to the bottom. Cleveland in the shotgun. Looks, throws, better throw. <laughs> oh, he's sacked. Cool, big loss. That's a 14-yard sack, and I think he's hurt. Yeah, he's been getting beat up all night. Is number 14 the backup? Ah, uh, 14. That's uh, Del Dondo. Yeah, is he the quarterback? It looks like he's Meldondo. Cleveland got shook up on that play. Hands the ball off. That's dead. <laughs> oh my God, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Good hustle. Good try. Look at that. He's he gained about about four yards. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Four yard gain for D. Robert Dale on the carry. 18, 16, 15. Either call a timeout or go to the dressing room. <laughs> That's the end of the first half. Now being the final play of tonight's first half. Half 21 to nothing. South Lafouche 21. South Lafouche Tarpons 21. Zero. Central Lafouche Trojans 0. Let's get ready for some homecoming halftime festivities here in Matthews, Louisiana. The last weekend of August in, in 2021, Paris was hit by Hurricane Ida. Uh, we lost all communications in this parish. Rev Business came in and boosted us up with a fiber line that gave us connectivity back to our radios and to our telephones. 
When we were back up and running, it was like a life-saving breath. Our connectivity to our law enforcement agencies are all fiber now. I think if you're looking for a really good provider, uh, Rev is without a doubt the, uh, the company to go with. Now we present the 2023 home, Homecoming Court of Central Lafourche High School. The Trojan Lancers and the Junior ROTC Sabre Guard will accompany the court's presentation. If a senior girl wishes to become a member of the Central Lafourche Homecoming Court, she must be active in two or more clubs or organizations and be selected by a vote of the senior class from these organizations and be selected by a vote of the senior class. From these 10 nominees selected, the queen is chosen by her senior classmates. We begin our introductions in alphabetic order. Thank you. Miss Brooke Barker is escorted by her father, Pat Barker. She is the daughter of Ann and Pat Barker. Brooke plans to attend Nichols State University to pursue a career in elementary education. Her biggest accomplishments are serving her classmates as vice president of student council, a two-year member of the yearbook staff, and being, being appointed as co-captain of the Trojan Dancer team. Her fondest memory of Central Lafourche was being awarded Trojanette of the Year and placing fourth at nationals with the Trojanette competition team. Ms. Brooke Barker. Ms. Reagan Billyot is being escorted by her father, Cody Billyot. Reagan is the daughter of Lindsay and Cody Billyot. Reagan plans to attend Louisiana State University to pursue a career in dermatologist. Her greatest accomplishment while at Central was serving her classmates as a National Honor Society officer being an active member of Beta Club and being a member of the varsity softball team. Her greatest honor was being named softball offensive and defensive most valuable player as well as first team all district outfield twice. Ms. Reagan Billiard. Miss Emma Crapel. Emma Crapel is being Ms. escorted Ms. by her father. By her father. Emma is the daughter Ms. of Ms. Courtney Ms. and Chad Crapel. Ms. Emma plans to attend. Emma Crapel is being escorted by her father. Emma plans to attend Nichols State University to pursue a degree in clinical psychology. Her greatest accomplishments while at Central were serving her school as an officer in the Trojan Charities, being a class officer and serving as co-captain of the Trojan Ed dance team. Her fondest memory is serving as a mentor in the Trojan Buddies program at Raceland Upper Elementary School. Miss Emma Krupel. Miss Natasha Cooper. Miss Natasha Cooper is being escorted by her grandfather, Carl Daniel. Natasha is the daughter of Tashawn and Kev Kelvin Cooper. She plans to attend college to pursue a career as a pediatric nurse. Natasha's greatest accomplishments are being part of the basketball and volleyball teams. She has earned all district honors in both sports as well as being recognized as one of the top volleyball players in our area. Her fondest memory is going to the basketball playoffs and serving as captain of the team. Ms. Natasia Cooper. Ms. Natasia Cooper. Ms. Malin Daigle. 
Miss Melin Diggle is escorted by her father, Ross Diggle. Melin is the daughter of Heidi and Ross Diggle. Melin plans to attend Nichols State University to pursue a degree in marketing and design. Melin's greatest accomplishments are serving as Trojan Charities President, National Honor Society Vice President, serving as a member of the Lafouche Parish Student Advisory Council and being a member of the Trojan Talk. Her fondest memory at Central is bringing back and organizing the Powder Puff Game. Miss Malin Daigle. Ms. Ava Falgu. Ms. Ava Falgu is escorted by her father, Andy Falgu. She is the daughter of Scarlett and Andy Falgu. Ava plans to attend Nichols State University to pursue a career in physical therapist. Her greatest accomplishments are being an active member of the Beta Club, National Honor Society, and Student Council as well as a member of the track team. Her fondest memory at Central Lafouche is being a member of the varsity soccer team that advanced into the playoffs. She was also recognized as a first team all district member and offensive most valuable player, Miss Ava Falgu. Miss Alana Fitch. Miss Alana Fitch is escorted by her father, Morgan Fitch. She is the daughter of Jamie and Morgan Fitch. Alana plans to attend Post University of Mississippi to pursue a career as an athletic trainer. Her greatest accomplishments at Central Lafouche are being on the volleyball team and being the MVP for track and being honored as a spotlight high jumper in our area. Her fondest memories are being involved in school activities and sports activities at Central Lafouche. Miss Alana Fitch. Miss Lily Luke is being escorted by her father, Paul Luke. Lily is the daughter of Paul and Jill Kurtz Luke. She plans to attend Nickel State University to major in biochemistry. Her greatest accomplishments were serving as the president of student council, vice president of Trojan Charities, being a two-year member of the yearbook staff, any member of the National Honor Society. Her fondest memory at Central is being a three-year varsity cheer member and placing 11th with 13 in a competition at Disney World. Miss Lily Luke. Miss Rory Nakan is being escorted by her father, Robbie Nakan. She is the daughter of Renee and Robbie Nakan. Rory plans to attend Nichols State University to major in nursing, hoping to pursue a career as a neonatal nurse. Her greatest accomplishments are serving as a National Honor Society officer a four-year member of the student council, and a three-year member of the beta club. She was a two-year member of varsity chair and a four-year member of the varsity soccer team. Her fondest memory at Central was being part of the soccer team with her two sisters being named the defensive MVP, Miss Rory Nocking. Miss Sarah Weaver. Miss Sarah Weaver is escorted by her father, Eric Weaver. Sarah is the daughter of Christy and Eric Weaver. She plans to attend Nickel State University to pursue a career in radiation therapy. Sarah's greatest accomplishments are being a four-year member of the varsity basketball and volleyball teams 
and being a member of the National Honor Society. Her fondest memories at Central include being awarded the Golden Sword for volleyball and making it to the basketball playoffs for the first time in 11 years. Ms. Sarah Weaver. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023-24 Homecoming Court of Central Lafourche High School. Mr. Chris Arnold, the principal of Central, will crown our new queen. He is being assisted by the administrative assistant, Ms. Janie Pierce, Ms. Tanya Richard, Ms. Megan Colon. Assistant principals will present flowers to the member of the court. And now, reigning as the 58th homecoming queen, of Central Alana Love Fouche, Miss Alana Fitch. Miss Alana Fitch, the 58th homecoming queen of Central Love Fouche High School, year 2023 and 24. Several beautiful, very capable and qualified young ladies on that court. And our queen is... Miss Alana Fitch. <laughs> Central Lafouche is going to kick off to start the second half. I'm sorry. South Lafouche is going to kick off to start the second half. Some stats. Uh, South Lafouche's Carson Orgeron was 10 of 15, 135 yards passing, 117 yards rushing. Meathead Dardar, seven rushes, ten yards for the Tarpons, and that's the two significant players. For the, for the Trojans, the Trojans ran 22 plays, a total of 31 total yards, and South Lafouche ran 35 plays for a total of 268 yards. Offsides. Uh, South Lafouche had four penalties for 45 yards, and the Trojans had three penalties. For 20 yards. Well, Cleveland, uh, Jeremy Cleveland for Central, passed the ball eight times, completed one pass for 10 yards, and he his rushing total was a minus nine yards. Day rushed for 16 yards, and Washington rushed for a minus one. Trojans not having a productive first half. Yeah, it's Let's just, hope that changes. Uh, it's it's the, the young, they got a young, inexperienced <laughs> team and this played freshmen, uh, played pre sophomores and juniors and the classmen. And nice kick. Nice high kick. Taken about, the tw about 24 well, yard line. Oh, breaks the tackle. Oh, nice. That was number 18. That's uh, Cooper. Tariq Cooper. Good return. Trojan playing first and ten. From forty-four. Yeah. Forty-four, huh? All right. Let's see. Is Jeremy coming back in Cleveland? Yes, he is. Good for the Trojan. And in the backfield is number eleven, Jordan Mason. Cleveland is a. Uh, Five foot nine, 145 pounds, Ooh. sophomore. Not very big and young. In motion, hands the ball, reverse. Gain of a yard. Mason. Mason. Five, five eight, 140 pounds, sophomore. One yard. Yep. Twenty-one zip, first half. See if the Trojans in great field position at their own forty-five. Another handoff. Not very many yards. Maybe two yards. That was number eleven. That was uh, Robert D. Third down and uh, six. 
Maybe they played field position here in this second half. But look, they didn't make very many mistakes in the passing game. I mean, you know, other than drop passes. That was an interception, but it was off of a deflection. Yeah, the turnovers are one to one, so it's, the yeah. turnovers are not. It's with not them. the the cause of the no, winning or losing. Lack of execution. Game. Yes. <laughs> what what's going on down here? All right, three wide receivers to the right. He rolls out. Oh, he completes his second pass. <laughs> for short. He's gonna be short. Yes, by, by two. Huh? Cooper with the reception. Boy, they didn't give him a good spot. No, he, no. He, he should be closer to that. That's about six yards, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he got four yards on the play that time. Yeah, he needs to do that same play. Hey, he's passing at 100% so far. Go, buddy. Oh, not yeah. even close. No game. Yeah. That was a day, huh? Yeah. Real like the Bush Parish Sheriff Clay Weber. Sheriff Weber wishes good luck to Central LaFouche and advises everyone to be safe on and off the field. You better say it's solid for us, too. <laughs> All right, solid for takes over on downs. Here comes uh, Orgeron. In that quarterback. Uh, one wide receiver almost out of bounds on the uh, top. Another one in the slot. Same thing at the bottom. He drops back, looking deep in the middle. That's been open, and it remains open. Number 13 in the middle. What? How many yards? Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28, 29 yards. 20, yeah, 29 yards. Whew. That was wide open as it has been the whole game. <laughs> And, you know, maybe the reason that's happening is there's four wide receivers and four coverage guys. Uh-oh, Meathead got in trouble there. No gain. Maybe a loss. Dardar on the carry. Dardar. Oh, that's a loss, huh? Loss, too. Where's the rain on the stop along with Sakis McNabb? Well, he, he had a great game against Thibodeau, and he caught about a 50-yard screen pass from Ogeron. All right, Ogeron dropping back. Can't help but look at that. Wide open. In the, oh, in the flat. Dordal missed it. And 13. They had the 20... 28 or 29, huh? <laughs> Big defense by the throw. And in motion, that's Terrence. Drops back, looking down in the middle. Nope. In the corner, deep. Oh, incomplete. incomplete. Double covered. Double covered. That should have been picked. Should have been intercepted. Fourth down. Fourth and uh, 12. 12. Huh? Let's see what they're going to do. It's a little out of that range. I think that'd be about a 40. Something yard field goal. Ogeron's going to stay in. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the field, one to the top. And that's Dardar in motion. 
in the well, 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 got a sack. Trojans big defense minus one. He had to hit somebody and open in the corner of the end zone, but he couldn't get both. Oh, he was under pressure. Yeah, that was good. Good rush by the Trojans. That's the best series they've had yeah, on defense yeah. tonight. Now let's see if we can generate a little offensive production. A couple of screen passes or something. Look, got a wide receiver down at the bottom of the field. Cleveland still a quarterback. Oh. Oh, good side step. Oh, look, he's got a little room. That's about an 11-yard game. Yeah. First down. 11-yard <laughs> run for Cleveland. <laughs> West Brent rest out on that sideline. He needs to call a few plays that he used to do at Lockport. Hands the ball off. Well, if he could turn that corner and does. Oh, about a 13 yard game. Had a first down. That's Robert D. <laughs> Robert Day's longest run of the night. Yeah. First time they turned the corner tonight. And he just got tripped up. If you didn't get oh, tripped, yeah. tripped up, he could type rope the sideline. He might have had a little speed on him. Man. A little fig, but that ain't going nowhere. Uh, minus two yards. Why you didn't give the ball? You should have gave the ball to uh, today. Well, that was a call play. Right? That was a quarterback keeper. I, I wouldn't have him running too much. <laughs> I mean, uh, he got hurt once, you know. Two wide receivers to the bottom, one to the top. Look like a tight end to the right side in the slot. And they in motion. Got some time in the middle, and he drops another one. That's his second pass. Third down and 10. Three wide receivers said he rolls to the right. Quick pass out there and he caught this one. That's it, that's uh. 23, that's, uh, that's no, nope. yeah. Porter's a ring. Four yards. Dehydration timeout. <laughs> yeah, we dehydrated up, yeah. You think we ought to call him, Ralph? Who's that? Louisiana National Guard. Yeah, get a little part-time job. Tell, tell him uh, <laughs> then to bring us something to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can enlarge the text on your phone, but what about that football program on your lap? If the print's too small, you would probably need the services of Chasson Eye Care Center. The Bob's is in Thibodeau and Raceland. They are ready and available to help in any way you might need. Fourth down. 
big play right here for the Trojans in the second half for momentum Fort purposes. Chicks. Five wide receivers in. That's dead motion. Pressure's on. Oh, intercepted. Off of the hands. That's number seven with that pick for Salt Lafouche. That's Cormandale, Maddox Cormandale. That was Cleveland's fourth pass. And his second interception of the night. That killed the drive dead. Yeah, yeah that'll do it. <laughs> Five forty-eight. Here come the Torpins. Dordor. Ogeron. Run up the middle. Quarterback keeper. Oh, gain of about five. End of third hour. Good defense by the Trojans. Met him in the hole. No, no game. No game. That's Dardar's second carry of the uh, half. And his net total is a minus two yards. <sighs> Trojans are getting beat in the air. Three wide receivers. To the right side. He goes to the left. Wide open. Loose coverage out there. That's number 14. Coat de cure for how many yards? Ogeron's getting back on track there. Ain't too many uh, pictures down there of the players, the senior players. <laughs> young, young team the Trojans have on the field. As Porter's a ring being helped off, it looks like. He's had a rough night. He's usually a sure handed receiver. And a good running back. He's one of the one of the seniors that uh, the right. Trojans have on the squad. The senior. One of the eight seniors. Yep. He had a couple of bad breaks during this game. That's Mr. Rista down there at the forty six yard line. Drops back, rolls to the right, scrambles a bit, throws it out of bounds. Incompletion. Two of five, 44 yards for Ogeron in the second half. Had a real good first half. And again, from what I saw in Thibodeau, He's a very good passer, an accurate passer. And he can, you know, he, he extends the play with his legs. And in this game, he scored two touchdowns on big, long runs. We got a flag down. 
thought he had it was he, a drop? He did sign a, a illegal illegal man downfield. Oh. That'd go there marking it. That was an incomplete pass. That don't count, huh? They don't get charged against him then. No. Two or four, fifty percent passing for the second half. Two to the right, two to the left, and let's see what Ogeron does. Drop straight back. Oh, oh! Through the hands of uh, Camden Bird. I mean, right in his hands. That was a perfect pass. That's been open all night yep. long. The whole middle of the field. The whole middle of the field. Still 21 zip. We, we've, we've held them. If the game would have started at halftime, we would be even right now. Back to pass, a little under pressure. Quick, quick out to Dordor. He's got a nice pad, well, nice play. And, and that's three, eight, and five is 13. That was a great play. Third down and about three. Smart play by uh, Ogeron. Through the pass in the flat, saved the saved the down, prevented the sack. Third and three, huh? Big play right here for the Trojans. Oh, that's somebody move. Time yeah. out. Or time out. Coach moved. <laughs> All right, here we go. Eye formation, hands the ball to the fullback. He carries the whole team down to the one. And it's uh, South Lafouche first down and goal. That was number 26 carried that ball. First and goal, two yard all right, our formation again, up the middle, 26, second effort, throws him in the end zone. Good run by number 26, Abram Berg. That makes the score 27 to zip. Ralph, I never thought the game would be this uh, lopsided. Yeah, it's a, I thought it would be closer than this. I knew it was going to be bad. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, what I've seen from Salt Lafou so far, I, you know, I, I, I like. I think they're a good ball club. And, of course, uh, you know, 
of course, in the Orgeron is at the heart of that. But they've got pretty good wide receivers. Now, Dardar has not had a lot of success running tonight, but uh, in the Thibodeau game, he did. He had a, a lot more success. That's uh, Gonzalez for the extra point here. Oh, that could have been called roughing, but he made it, huh? Yep. That was very close to being roughing the kicker. Well, we got a game next Friday against Franklin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Franklin High School. Well, what is Franklin? What is Franklin? The Hornets? Hornets. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I own the partnership in a country club, Broken Pine. So I had quite a few friends. In fact, the former principal was a good friend of mine. Good guy. Had quite a few friends from that area. Gonzalez kicking off once again for us out the push. After the unsportsmanlike penalty, he'll kick from the 25 yard line. And again, deep for a central the push. Cooper along with Maldonado. had a penalty to kick, make him kick from the 25. There was a penalty on them? It must be. Instead of kicking from the 35. Or rather the 40. Kick from the 40, huh? Yeah. yeah. The 40, yeah. <laughs> not the 25. Yeah, not the 25. Now the 25. we ought to get a return here. Good field position. Atta boy, good catch. 45. That was number 17, I think, for the Trojans on that return. Dishman. Dishman. 5'8", 145, Junior. They got a small... All some small guys. I mean, they won, 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 won 160. Other than that, 175. Most of them have 140, 135. Oh, we got another penalty? Well, what happened? I have no idea. Probably holding or blocking in the back or something. That must have been on the kick kick off him. Huh? Yeah, it had to be. Cause yes, that was the only yeah, place. The ball was at the thirty. <laughs> ball was at the forty-five. Two forty-one left in this third period here. Cleveland. Oh, not pretty at all. A fumble. Nope. I think he was down. No, they call it a fumble. Third turnover for the Trojans. They're down by 28 points. Now, who was that quarterback last year that, that uh, I don't guess he played? I don't see his name on the roster. I thought he was a young guy. He seemed to have a good, pretty good arm. Awesome oh, kids. I don't. Know. Well, we need some help from Lockport Racing and Buy Blue next year. And by these kids, I don't. don't know. Quick Remember, pass. Oh, he dropped it. 
That was uh, that was number eleven. That was uh, nope. Hold on. Yeah, that was number eleven. That was uh, Landon Jarvis. It was too perfect a pass. I remember Zarang from last year. That's about the only yeah, one. I, yeah, yeah. Zarang was a tight end running back last year. Uh, but boy, I don't think I don't remember none, none of the other ball players. I know. I know. That's Chubby T in motion to the right. He looks down. Pass in the in the flat to Dordor. That wasn't a big game. Maybe two or three two yards. yards right? Two yards. Was wrong in the shotgun, looking back under pressure, rolls to his left, comes back to his right, extending that play, and boy, what a tackle down. Big sack. Down at the 30, 31, uh, 36 yard line. McNabb. That was a big loss. Zacharis McNabb. Who's that? Uh, the five, guard attack. Five, five nine one seventy five oh. junior defensive lineman. Four down. They're going for it. Now, I, I I think I'll uh, have a couple of people. Oh look, quick punt. Get away from. Good bounce. <laughs> that was Ogeron that kicked it too. Yeah. Jack of all trades. Ooh, 105 left in the third period here in Matthews. Big rivalry game. Uh, big, uh, big lopsided uh, game here that we didn't anticipate. Trojans didn't uh, show up. Torpens came prepared to play and did. All right, let's see if we uh, put some air under that ball here, even though we're deep in our own territory. That's a no gainer. Oh, I'll take it back, a loss. That was day, huh? I'll tell you what, if I lose, I lose throwing the football. You're down by 28 points. You ain't gonna get it running up the middle. Oh, good run. Robert Day coming through the back. That's, uh, let's see, two. That's about the eight. Two, three, three. Let's see, seven. Nine-yard run on that play for D. That'll be the end of tonight's third quarter. Third and three, the end of the third quarter. Thank God, it's not the fourth quarter. Brandon on the side of the road, called Jared for recent partner service in Raceline. Anytime, day or night. At Bourgeois Meat Market, our slogan is Miracles and Meat since 1891. To be in business over 130 years, the most important thing is to have a quality product. The next most important thing is customer service. Our old meat market is in Shreveport, Louisiana, and we're really proud to be opening up our brand new store in Gray, Louisiana. We have Rev at both locations now. So all these new scales and our POS system runs on technology, and uh, we need Rev to make that happen for us. I highly recommend Rev Business. Fourth and final quarter, 28 for the South Lafourche Tarpons and zero for the Central Lafourche Trojans. 12 minutes left for the Trojans to save face here. 
That's uh, Cleveland going to the left and losing three more yards. Uh, uh, oh, would definitely punt here. Let's see. Uh, punt. Oh, Lord, bad snap. Oh, good, good recovery. Good recovery. That was uh, Terrence Petrie back for the punt return. That, that, that was a fantastic Can't point. Can't he got that off you. Yes. He was lucky to grab it, yet get it off, and then get good field position. They had the 49 of the Trojans. Their backup quarterback is injured. Oh, that's Dardar. They're probably going to saturate the, the middle of the field with the run here. Dardar on the Take it down and eat. Petrie to the bottom. One wide receiver to the top. They in that eye. Trying to grind that clock out, Ralph. Dardar, short gain. Maybe, maybe a yard. <laughs> third and seven, huh? Oh. And third and seven. Finally got one right. Look, nobody's covering 13. Good, thank you. We got three wide receivers, fellas. Look. Never did. Uh, if, if, man, stop. Short, good tackle. Number 15. For the Trojans, good reaction and tackle. Miguel Johnson, third and a long two. And they are going for it, back in our formation. Let's see if the Trojans, oh, come on. He's going to win an Academy Award for that. Uh, uh, <laughs> that <laughs> Trojans have penalized five yards. That'll be a first down for South Lafouche. Well, we certainly didn't need that. Lack of experience, boy. Lack of experience. All right, let's see. First down, they back in the eye. Whoa, reverse. Good tackle by number 24 for the Trojans. That's, uh, that's Cameron Hunter. Good tackle for a loss of uh, about five, two. 5'10", 150, junior. Second and 12. Get back in the shotgun. Second and 12. Petrie fakes it, gives it to Dardar up the middle on a delay, and he picks up about four Dardar. yards. Mm -hmm. Third and uh, nine. Third and nine. Still an opportunity for the Trojans to shut them down here. Twenty-eight zip. Tarpon lead. Eight oh one and running. 
beautiful night for football. Dart are in motion. Ogeron back, wide open, broken coverage. That's number 11 for the touchdown. I mean, that was nobody within 10 yards of him. Yeah. That's uh, number 11, Robert Dead, a running back. Perfect pass by uh, Ogeron. I tell you, he's having a band of night tonight. He's over 200 yards passing, I would venture to see. Gonzalez. Oh, oh, deflected. Blocked by number 27 for the Trojans. That makes the score. South of Lafouche, 34, Central still in the zero category. <laughs> well, some people like to lose gracefully, not me. <laughs> if I'm gonna go it's down, I'm gonna go down. It just soon beat me a hundred to nothing, you know. If you're interested in becoming a college student and a soldier, Go to www.lang-recruiting. That's Louisiana National Guard-recruiting.com for more information. I would be throwing the ball all over the place. But we had a great field dedication to a great man, Bob Grill, Coach Bob Grill. We had a great... Uh, Festivity uh, for homecoming queen selection in court. And uh, a, a very nice, beautiful young lady, Miss Alana Fitch, is the queen for Central Lafouche homecoming court for 23, we had, some, we had some good food too, Perry. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm so thirsty right now. <laughs> That, uh, that jambalaya that was good. Jambalaya was hot. Yeah, it was hot too. Woo. We just got the wrong boot. <laughs> Gonzalez, long kick back there. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Don't go backwards. Stop right there. Just take there it off. Salafush is beating them in every aspect, every facet of the game, special teams, defense, offense, passing, running. Oh, let's see, fellas. Never give up the ship. Got any Trick plays in your book, now's the time. Four wide receiver set. Good job, back up. Oh, look, he caught it off the deflection. Number 18 pass from That's Cleveland. Tyree Cooper. That's Tyree Cooper. Cooper. Ball came That's right to him off the deflection. Three, three wide receivers. Take grade. To the right. Sample. One to the left. One back in the backfield with uh, Cleveland. There we go. Sling it. Oh, good job. Good long pass. He's open. He's got it. Where you going? Go, 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 go. Touchdown, Trojan. <laughs> 60 yards on a bomb <laughs> from Cleveland to number 12, Dishman. Sh Sherrell. Uh, uh, huh? Mason Sherrell, uh, that's uh, a name 12? from last year, number 12. Yeah, Sherrell, yeah, yeah. Where has he been all this game? This, this, I've seen you this year, yeah. Where has he been? He was wide open. He was 10 yards past the closest defensive back. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think that was a breakdown. Uh, Charles hey, uh, that happens on both sides of the ball. You got to take advantage of it, and they did. Oh, he missed it. Well, hey. 
Six is better than nothing. Hey, we can score. That's a good thing. You think maybe they heard me calling the plays up here? Throw it deep. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, man. I'm hurting, I'm hurting the duck. <laughs> oh, I know. Look like them, them uh, steps are getting farther and farther every year. No, more and more. I think they, they add a couple of uh, that's steps. What, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I think they add a couple of steps every year. We need to do an escalator right there. Yeah. Put an elevator right behind our, our boot. Yeah. Yep, we'd have a bunch of uh, drinks in there. <laughs> All right, Trojans on the board finally after three and a half quarters. 6.53 left in the fourth. 34 6. Tarpons up. Onside kick. There you go. Hey, go for it, baby. Play like you want to win. Teach them boys right. Now go play, go play good, tough defense. Get the ball back and do it again. Well, congratulations to B.J. Young and the Tarpon coaching staff and players for a, uh, a very, very impressive performance tonight. I know the game's not over. We got six minutes, but they are to be commended. And congratulations to the Trojans for not giving up. Pickup of about almost four yards by Dardar, it looks like. Nope, number not 21, 22. Caden Angelette with the carry. He'll pick up about Caden Angelette. I know that kid. He plays baseball with my grandson. His father played for LSU. Caden's father. Good to see him in the games. Another look. Let me tell you something. He's fast. If he if he breaks the uh, gets a seam, he gonna disappear. Okay. Uh, Official time now. About maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Five fifty nine left here in the fourth quarter. Good to see the Tarpons are playing some of their younger players. Parker Healing with the Chiropractic Wellness Center. At the Chiropractic Wellness Center, we restore your body's alignment and mobility so that you can do all the things you love. Chiropractic Wellness Center, offices in Lockport. Yeah, we, a couple of doors over from us is uh, Casey Gisclair and the former athletic director at South, uh, Kali, uh, Brian Kali, who are calling the game for radio. All right, let's see. They're in the shotgun. Let's see what's going to happen. Another, whoa, he keeps it. That's number three. That's Terrence Petrie. He's got a first down. Petrie on the keeper. Keeper out of bounds. Smart move. <coughs> Took out Ogeron. Give him a breather. He's had a great game. Don't pay to leave him in there. Game is for all intents and purposes just about a uh, clock's not running. Somebody's trying to prolong this deal. All right, Petrie in the shotgun. Hand off to Angelette. 
Oh, it finds a little crease. Gain of about two yards. Caden Angelette. Second and eight for the Tarpons. Terrence Petrie handling the quarterback duties for the Tarpons. Rest of the way, I'm sure. Handoff, Angelette. Oh, look, there he goes, what I told you. Look at the speed. Can't catch him. Caden Angelette, 40 yard, uh, 38 yard, 39 yard Caden run. Great, great run by Caden Angelette. I told you, if he if he had a seam, he'd uh, <laughs> he could exploit it. Oh, extra point, good. That kicker's got a leg. 502. <laughs> 502 left in the fourth quarter. That was a pretty run. When everybody knows you're running and you can still break it and That kid's gonna be good. I think he's uh, he's probably a sophomore. Five oh two. Forty one six. Tarpon's commanding lead here at Central Lafouche Stadium. Bob Grove Memorial Field. All right, and here we go. Gonzalez with the kick. Nice deep kick. Taken at the 10. Goes to the left side. Ooh, tackle by three or four Tarpons. Great special team play tonight for the Tarpons. Let's make it rain, boys. Put that ball in the sky. All right, I receive it to the top of the formation. Three to the bottom, one back in the backfield. Cleveland takes the snap in the shotgun. Looking back, under a little pressure. Don't hit him now. Oh. Tried to throw it while rolling to his right. Not even close. Tough throw for a young kid. Tough throw. Uh-oh. Time out. South Lafouche. A good opportunity for South to play some of the players that don't normally get to get in the game right now.
Second down and 10 for the Trojans. 447 left on the game clock. South Lafouche side about three quarters full. And I can't see that far, but it looks like most of them are smiling. What in the world is going I on? I don't know. They're having a family reunion with the referees over there. They're probably saying, where are we going to eat after the game? <laughs> Let's get it straight. All right, here we go. Trojans. Cleveland in the quarterback. Rose to his left. Oh, that was finally the screen pass that I... Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a flag. Got a flag. That yeah, was the screen pass I was waiting for all night. And that Torpens deflected the pass. They lucky it didn't get intercepted. Uh, what, personal foul? Yeah, so true. Probably, probably uh, hit him from, from the back or that something. Happened you know. after the play was over. Yeah, yeah. We would use our instant replay, but we don't. Uh, it's broken. <laughs> now nah, that puts him in a barn here. He had the 12 yard line. Ooh. That's 10. Twenty three yards. Second and twenty three. It's fourth and twenty three. Oh it is. It can't be a fourth. That's what they that got was on. a penalty. That's what they got on. Yes, I know. Yeah, but it's a dead ball, Perry. It was a dead ball. Well, there's, a con there's some confusion. They got, okay, now he changes third. third down. Yeah. Third, yeah. If they if they go on foot on foot from there, then I'm room. Under pressure, creating a little room. Oh, picked off. Number twenty. Interception, his third pick, uh, thrown interception of the night. Number 20 with the pick, that's uh, Haven Green. That's what happened to him last week in Vanderbilt, the, turn, the pass interception, that's the third pass interception right there. That's his third, that's right. Four turnovers. Well, he's under, you know, he's under duress, he's, he's, he's rolling around, he's most, Kids that age can't throw and while they're running. And his lack of experience is a right, sophomore. Right, right, <laughs> right. You lose a lot of power when you're running and trying to throw it versus standing still and, all right. Angelette in the backfield with Terrence Petrie at quarterback. Let's see if they give it to Angelette again, and he's got another touchdown. Second touchdown for Caden Angelette. Little delay. He must be happy. That kid's got some quickness, and he's fast. If he puts on a little weight, he'll be very, very tough to deal with as he gets older. All right, 47, the extra point attempt coming from Gonzalez. 3.57 left in the fourth. And we got a mad sprint by number 73. Let's see if he makes it. <laughs> he does. Seven, six. They go on. Oh, here we go. Gonzalez. 
Nothing speedy about that. He just. He's smooth when he kicks yeah, you. Yeah, he just said, what y'all hurrying for? Just put the ball on the tee and I'm going to kick it. Trojans just can't seem to get a break here tonight. Nice kick, taking it to 10. Another, another big defense. Oh, not a penalty. Holding. Back, put another penalty on it. Oh, my goodness. Georgia's are penalized after the play was over for a dead ball foul. First and 10. That's day on the carry. All right, first and second and uh, about seven, huh? Yeah, second and about four. Good, good chance. Ah, that might work. Good run. First down. Number 10 running hard for the Trojans. That's uh, Jordan Mason. Neil McCarry, good for another goal post drive in. First down. Good job. Tw uh, two old nine and running left in the fourth. Trojans finally get a uh, running first down here. This is a six first down for the Trojans tonight. Well, it was definitely a dismal offensive uh, performance. 
There we go. There we go. Good run. Good run. Good, good extra effort. About an eight-yard run right there. That's uh, number 18 for the Tarpons. That's Tyreek Cooper. Nine. 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 Quarterback keeper. But that's about it. That's a nice little run right there, too. Now we finally got some offense, and we ain't, we're running out of town. Yeah, the sound of which is playing some back. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And, and that's good. Cause that's good for both schools. Trojans get to save a little face anyway. And uh, and some of them kids look like uh, Caden, Angelette. With, uh, look at this, look at this. Oh, go, man, go. That might be a touchdown. It is a touchdown. Oh! Touchdown. Knock, knocked him out, but uh, that was a heck of a run by... The quarterback. Cleveland. Zeroes on the board. Yep. Well, hey, we not no pool on this thing. Huh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I tell you. Hey. As long as the kids have fun and nobody gets really hurt bad, yeah, that's, uh, that's what counts. You know, no matter how bad you played or how bad things went, as long as you learn something from it, it's... Yeah, you can turn that into a positive. <laughs> All right. You got it. It's number 14. 48-14, final yep. score. <laughs> All right, Perry, yes. just uh, too much, too much tarpon, too much tarpons tonight. Be a long season for the Trojans. Well, I thought it was going to be a little closer than this. I, knew, uh, I suspected the Tarpons are going to win, and I predicted that, but uh, I thought it would be much closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll be back uh, next week to do the, the uh, Franklin. Franklin game. So until next time, this is Ralph Sapia along with Perry Gidder saying good night from Central Foods High School. Good night, everybody. Thank you.